Hey y'all, welcome back to A Little In Light. I'm Samantha. Uh, it's the weekend, so naturally we have a weekend project to do. Come on, little helper, you got it. You can do it. We're building another pen. Um, but I'm not gonna tell you what it's for yet. You'll just have to see. Good evening, everybody. So it's a couple days later. Um, <clears throat> we lost our light and it got dark when we went to pick up our new animals. And uh, then the next day we came out to work on their shelter and <laughs> it just started storming and it's just not been uh, cooperative. So it's cold today, but I'm gonna get out here so I can show you guys what we got. Over the span of just a couple of days, uh, Jerry and I went from talking about theoretically getting pigs to building a pen and getting pigs. Jerry and I talked back and forth about naming them. Um, I wasn't really on board with naming them, not because I'll get attached and won't want to butcher, because that's eventually what these pigs are for. They're gonna go in our freezer, they're gonna sustain our family, and that's the reality of it. So. I was like, oh, well, I really don't care to name them, um, mostly for YouTube purposes. I didn't want anybody to get confused or, you know, think that we were, like, betraying our pets or something. Uh, however, Jerry is more of the mindset of, well, if we're going to give them the best life possible, we might as well give them a name and all of that. So, we named them. So, the one with black on it uh, is a female. Here. This one is a female, and her name is Jackie. The more red one back here is a male. Now, he hasn't been castrated yet, uh, and we will do that very shortly. Uh, his name is Wilson. So, their names are Jackie and Wilson, and we will raise them on Rhythm and Blues. If you get the reference, yay. If not, then we don't have the same taste in music. <laughs> when I was in high school, I showed a pig in 4-H, um, and then I used the money I got from selling that pig at the auction, and so I started my own show pig farm. So I know a lot about pigs, uh, as far as like growth rates and genetics and like all of that stuff. Uh, I had to really know my stuff in order to breed good animals to sell for good show. Anyways, uh, so because of that I am a little bit vain when it comes to pigs. Uh, any old pig is gonna grow and it's going to eventually make you meat and lard and all that good stuff. However, I'm a little picky. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm picky of my piggies. <laughs> um, I don't like really long snouts, they have to be wide bodied, uh, I'm just, I've been spoiled by the show pig genetics and, uh, anyway. So these pigs are just farm pigs, however, they are the better looking of what I could find available. Um, they are supposed to be three quarter Berkshire, one quarter Hampshire, however, they are really red. There's a lot of red coloring on them, which leads me to believe there is some Duroc uh, down in their bloodline somewhere. Anyways, regardless, I really like their build. They're very square. Um, they have wide stances. It's just good stuff. Now, you don't have to have a pretty pig. Like, you don't have to. They're, they're going to be meat eventually. Uh, however, I'm just vain when it comes to my pigs and my goats. I'm a little picky about my goats too. They can't have ears or horns. <laughs> You're okay. They're just little pigs. They can't even reach you. These guys are about 10 weeks old. Um, if I had to guesstimate, 
I'd say they're about 45 pounds ish um, we're working on our feed regimen because we mix all of our other feeds I'm tr going to play around with it and see how well they grow on what kind of food um, when I was raising show pigs we fed a really really high protein so like 22 23% protein uh, and of course we use supplements and all kinds of stuff which we're not going to do all of that here um, the main thing I'm trying to decide between and if you know anything about this please let me know is using cottonseed meal versus soybean meal for protein uh, they're really about the same amount of proteins like 45 46 percent um, same amount of fat I know soy is not all that great for human consumption, uh, especially over long periods of time. I don't know anything about cottonseed meal, so if you can shed some light on that, let me know. If not, I'll probably end up experimenting and let you guys know how it goes. I was very surprised when the morning after we got them, I walked out here and they like walked right up to me. Um, so taming them isn't going to be hard at all. So you might be wondering, well, why would you try to tame them at all if you're going to eat them? Well, if they ever get out, I don't know if you've ever tried to wrestle a pig, especially one that's close to butchering weight. Like, it is, that is not an easy thing to do. Um, and I have no desire to have an animal that I can't control at least a little bit. I mean, we live right off of a highway and God forbid a 200 pound pig got out in the middle of the highway. That'd be very bad. One of the things I'm most excited about is after butchering, I'm excited to see their meat quality. We have only ever raised one pig for ourselves um, and that was about three years ago that we did that. Um, it was actually for Jerry and I's wedding. We raised a pig and then my dad came down and butchered it and they roasted it in the ground uh, overnight before the wedding and then that's what we served for dinner at our reception um, so that was pretty cool are you are you hungry <laughs> um, and if you don't know Berkshires uh, which is what they mostly are uh, they're supposed to have really marbly meat um, so I'm excited to see that so what about you? Do you like Berkshire? Do you have a different breed that you really prefer more? I used to really like Yorkshires, like the pink ones. Uh, that was my favorite. And then I raised them. So let me know in the comments below if you really like Berkshires or if you've raised something else that you prefer more. Um, I'm just curious to hear some community feedback. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us today. Um, yeah, we got pigs. That happened rather quickly. <laughs> uh, until we meet again. Bye, y'all.